sometimes even the best team gets bogged down by conflict. I once was involved in an organization and was a member of its leadership team. Each of us in the group possessed high technical expertise and strong personalities, and we were expected to work together to help the organization overcome a major challenge. Perfect setup for a great team. I was in charge of one aspect of the organization, and there was this other person who was in charge of another equally important part of the organization. And for the organization to work well, we had to learn to work well together. Unfortunately, very often, we take diametrically opposed positions in key issues. Each of us believed in the correctness of our positions that we'd end up debating for hours on the finer points of the issues facing us. How I wish I could say we'd clash only once or twice, but I have to admit that our clashes would happen almost every time we met. Of course, we didn't allow our clashes to affect our personal relationships. We remained friends even if we didn't see eye to eye on most issues, but our debates would often bog down the progress of the leadership team and therefore of the organization as a whole. We had to find ways to sort out our differences so that the organization could move forward in pursuit of its mandate and mission. Sometimes teams become dysfunctional. That is expected. Conflict is normal in any group of people. That's because every person has a blind spot. Every person has flaws and weaknesses. They get highlighted in conflict situations. Every person has a set of values that determines how he or she sets priorities and tells wrong from right. Each person sees things from a particular point of view. And points of views may clash. These values and perspectives may run in con into conflict with others in the team. And it would be very difficult to sort them out, especially if their views have become rooted as convictions. But we should never allow conflict to get in the way of working together to achieve a common goal. How we handle conflict spells the difference between a successful team and a dysfunctional one. Especially if you believe in Jesus Christ, we need to handle conflict well. Each person can avoid conflict by remaining humble and respecting the person we disagree with. Knowing that all of us are imperfect people with limited knowledge and are prone to make mistakes. Remember, we all work for just one Lord. The Apostle Paul reminds us to submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Debate is good. Conflict is healthy. But never allow conflict to get out of hand to the detriment of personal relationships and failure to progress as a team. Remind yourself to remain humble even in the thick of a debate. You do not have the monopoly of intelligence. Always work towards resolving conflict in a healthy way. Remember that as teams get into conflict, and most especially in the resolution of conflict, faith matters too.